good morning students today we will talk about civics chapter 8 confronting marginalization marginalization means a group of people which was ignored in past due to various social and economical reasons we all know that fundamental rights play a very important role in our constitution these rights are available to the all indian equally Article seventeen of the Constitution states that untouchability has been abolished. Means no one can be prevent Dalit from educating themselves, entering temple, using public facility. It also means that it is wrong to practice untouchability. In fact, untouchability is a punishable crime. Now we are talking about laws for the marginalized group. as a part of their efforts constitution both state and central government create some specific scheme to for implementation in tribal areas for example government provide free or subsidized hostel for the student of dalit 1989 act that is a very important act the the act was framed in 1989 in response to demand made by dalit and other that government must take seriously the ill treatment and humiliations dalit and tribal group face in everyday senses that this act was framed in 1989 in response to demand by dalit so in this act the several levels of crime should be stopped first list of modes of humiliation that are physically or morally secondly it lists that disposes dalits and adivasis of their mirage resources or which force them into performing slave labor adivasis demand and 1989 act the 1989 act is important for another reason the adivasi activities refer to it to defend their rights to occupy their land that was traditionally theirs activists have asked that those who have forcefully encroached upon tribal land should be punished under this law as a conclusion we can say that the desire for equality dignity and respect is not new it has existed in different forms throughout our history thank you very much